Hello, this is Diane Durham from Piedmont Wellness Center. We're going to do a chair class today for all of you people at home. All you need is your chair. You need nothing else, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to have your ears, your shoulders, and your hips in one line. I want your tummy to be tight, and we're gonna get started with a march. Nice and easy, just picking the knees up a little bit. Nothing too heavy in the beginning. Good, now we're gonna take that left leg out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. You could stop the arms until you get the leg movement and then add the arms in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Good, now we're getting ready to switch legs. So the right leg is gonna come in, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. Pump the arms. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. Good. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you'll have a great 4th of July. Take a nice deep breath. Take those ribs off the hips and exhale. Inhale up and exhale down. Good, now we're gonna stand, come to the side of your chair and we're gonna take two steps to the right two steps to the left, two steps to the right, two steps to the left, add the arms, and two steps, and two steps. Now put a little bend in the knees, little bend in the knees, good. Now lift the hamstring, bend the knee, okay, pull back, bend. Bend, bend, good. Now up, curl, 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 good, two more. Very good, march it out. Big breath in, exhale out, big breath in. Exhale out. So we're going to focus on flexibility, coordination, and balance. We'll also do some strength. So we'll come around to the front of the chair first. Keep marching. Lift those legs a little higher. Shoulders are back in their pockets. Bellies are tight. Good, now let's bring the arms out. Keep the legs moving, let's circle. Circling the arms, warming up the shoulders. And back, not too big and not too little. Good, inhale up, exhale out. Come back to the chair, the back of the knees touching the chair and gently have a seat. Good, come to the edge of the chair, take your left leg out, toe is up, right hand on the thigh and slide down to a mild discomfort into the back of the leg, which is your hamstring, pulling the toe towards the body for the gastrocnemius, your calf muscle. Stay here. We want to avoid any bouncing or any reaching further than we should. Look to the knee, inhale and exhale. And 
and inhale and exhale. Good. Now I want you to take that toe and I want you to tap it. We're getting into the tibialis anterior, which is shin splints when you get them out when you're pounding too hard or walking, just to work that area a little bit. Good. And march. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And the right leg comes out, the toe comes up. Take a deep breath, exhale, look to the knee. Pull that toe back towards the body to a mild discomfort. Breathe. And exhale. And slowly come up. Very good. Now open up your legs and gently put your arms onto your thighs. I want you to take your left arm to eye level, and I just want you to rotate to the left. Your vision is up to the sky. So inhale, exhale, torso rotation. And come back. And the other side, arm is eye level, and inhale, and rotate on the exhale. Good, breathe in and slowly come out. Now right here we have just a little mini lower back stretch. Look to the floor, keeping your neck in line with your spine. Your belly button is pulled in. If you'd like to take it a little further, you can reach for the floor and just kind of hang. So stay on the chair, just stretching your lumbar, your lower back. Big breath in and exhale. Slowly come up. No dizziness. Good. Let's march. Now I want you to bring the hands here. Okay, so we're going out, the legs are coming straight up, the arms are going out to the side. Okay, now I'm going to mix it up on you. Your left arm is gonna come forward and your right arm is going to come out as the legs are moving. This is for coordination, will help you with a lot of things, if you can get that. Good, you could stop the arms, keep the legs marching. Now the right arm out to the side, the left arm in front. I gotta get it, there it is. Yes, ears, shoulders, and hips, one line. Very good. Big breath in and exhale out. Now we're going to stretch into the quadricep and the hip flexor. So I want you to turn to the left and I want the crease of your left knee into the chair with your foot flat on the floor. I want your right leg behind you, ears, shoulders, hips. Okay, your left hand is on the chair, the back of the chair. I want you to take your right arm up and over. So feel that stretch right up the quad and into the hip flexor, keeping that front foot down. Breathe. Inhale, exhale. And one more time, inhale and exhale. Now take your right arm and let's get some range of motion going here. Just like you're swimming in the pool with one arm. Five, four, three, two, 
and one. You should still feel that stretch going on. Now take your right hand to the back of the chair to meet your left hand. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, rotate. Not too far here. Inhale and exhale. Good, you can release it and come forward. Good, now our hands on your hips, legs in front. Heel, toes are up, legs are in front. Pump the arms. Just like a cross country ski in the water, opposite arm and leg. You could go as fast as you like or as slow as you like. Arms are coming straight out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's move over to the right side. So the right leg, the crease of the knee is in the chair. The left leg is back on the toe. The right hand is touching the back, holding on to the back of the chair. Ears, shoulders, hips, inhale. Rising the arm and leaning over. Feel that stretch. Breathe in and out. One more breath in and out. And some range of motion here, like you're swimming in a pool. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, come to the front again. Now I'd like you to stand up without holding onto the chair if you can. So stand up and step back to the back of your knees, touch the chair. Your arms can be here or they can be here. Okay, we're going to do some squats. So I want you to focus on having your weight in your heels, your tummy is tight, and you're avoiding torso flexion, which is this. So I want you to just sit back, touch the chair, push up through the heels. Sit back, touch the chair, push up th through the heels. And eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and come back up, go halfway down and hold. Now sit. Very good, shake those legs out, fast legs, fast legs, good because we're going to do one more set of those. So stand, knees to the back of the chair. Okay, hands crossed or out, and lower down, get in the heels when you come up, exhale, and lower and up. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and come up, go halfway, hold, lower down. Very good. Tap it out. Very good. Okay, let's work the core right here now, okay? So you could kind of sit in the middle of your chair. I want the belly pulled in 
and ears, shoulders, and hips. Your right hand can be holding onto the chair. Your left arm is out. You're coming across on a diagonal. Lift and lower. You do not need to touch your knee. It's just the rotation. Lift and lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, march it out. And now let's do the other side. Left hand on the chair, right arm up and rotate. And rotate. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Little circles with a march. And back. Good. Now I'd like for you to sit all the way back in the chair. Your lower back is up against the chair, ears, shoulders, and hips. Feet are flat, elbows into the rib cage. I want you to criss cross. This is for your rotator cuff muscles. Okay. So open and close, alternating hands on top and keeping those elbows in nice and tight. Open and close, keeping the belly nice and tight to the spine. Three more, two more, last time. Good, shake it out. Okay, let's come to the edge of the chair and we're going to work, continue to work on the postural muscles, okay? And we'll do that without any weights. We could do it with just the resistance of our arms. So I want you to have a flexion of the torso. I want your neck to be in line with your spine Take your arms out to the sides, palms are behind you. I want you to take it up, straighten it out, make a T, come back in and lower down, keeping them flexed. Up, open, in, and lower. Up, open, in, and lower. This is working on your Posterior deltoid, the back of your shoulder. Up, open, in, and lower. Five, four, three, two, and one, and straighten up, roll them. Good. Now we're gonna make goal posts right here, and we're going to close and squeeze and open for the chest. Squeeze the palms together and open. Squeeze and open. Seven, six, five, four, isometric contraction, two, one. Same thing here, up, down, belly button pulled in, up, down, eight, Seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Roll those shoulders. Now it's time to get up. So let's stand up without using our hands. Come around to the side of the chair. Okay, we're gonna work on some balance. So you can have your toe actually touching the floor here. If you want to have an exercise of choice and take it a little further, you can lift your toe slightly off the floor. Find a focal point, pull the belly in, ears, shoulders, hips. And when you're ready, see if you can let go. The leg you're standing on is slightly bent and never hyperextended. And hold. Now you could practice this at home. It's great to practice balance. Everybody needs balance. Very good. March it out. Step behind the chair, holding onto the chair with two hands. I want your toe to be facing me. We're going to start with the right leg. This is called abduction of the hip. So we're coming out. You do not need to lift high. The most important thing is that your toe is facing me. We're working the gluteus medius the top part of your glutes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Back to the side of the chair. Take your left leg in front of your right leg in a tandem stance. Now the chair is right next to you. So find a focal point. We're gonna balance again. Ears, shoulders, and hips. When you're ready, you can release. Stay close. You can release. Now I would tell you the exercise of choice here. You can try and close your eyes if you wish, but have your hand close to that chair because that takes you into a totally different realm. Very good. Let's march around to the other side. And we are going to start with the left leg, either on the floor or off the floor, finding a focal point. And when you're ready, you may release. The leg you're standing on is slightly bent and never hyperextended. Great job. Great job. Good. Come behind the chair for a hip abduction on the other side. Toe is pointing straight to me. Ear, shoulders, and hips. Out. Out. I want you to try and avoid doing this. Okay? Our body needs to stay straight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Shake the legs, come to the side in a tandem stance. Find a focal point. Should be putting the opposite leg in front. Finding a focal point somewhere on the floor, or on the wall. And when you're ready, you can release. And if you wish to go further, stay close to the chair, close your eyes. Very good. Very good. Now I'm going to turn my chair because we're going to work on the hip. We're going to take the right leg. This is hip extension. So the leg you're standing on is bent. You're going to take your right leg and lift. 
lift. Working the gluteus maximus, lift and tap and lift and tap. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, lift it up and lower down without setting it down. Lift and lower. Hip flexion and knee flexion. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Take your legs back. Keep your elbows bent. Now, I want you to pull your belly button to your spine. So if my belly button's not in my spine, you see the difference. Now it is. So we have a nice flat back and we're stretching into the hamstrings. So keep it there for just a few breaths in and out. Look to the floor. The neck stays in line with the spine. Very good. Now we're going to go to the other leg. So I'll turn this way. And we're going to take it up. Tap. Tap. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now lift it straight up and don't put it down. Up and lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And stretch that out, elbows bent, neck in line with the spine. Booty goes to the back, belly button goes in nice and tight. Breathe. And exhale, slowly come up. I'm gonna straighten my chair. Let's march around to the front. Knees on the back of the chair and have a seat very slowly. Good. I want you to take your left leg with your toe up and I would like for you to straighten it out by flexing your quadricep muscle, the biggest muscles of your body. These are the core muscles of your body. They burn a lot of calories. So we're going to strengthen the knees. 10, 9, isometrically, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it up there for me, hold, and release, march it out. Very good, let's do the other side. Ready, pull that toe back to you and lower and flex the quads and lower. Eight, seven, shoulders up, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it up, hold, 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 flex, 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 great, shake it out. Take your left hand, pat your head, take your right hand, rub your belly, march your feet at the same time. Yeah, very good, very good, back into the back part of our body, our back muscles, trapezius, rhomboids, all of those back muscles back there. 
So we're gonna flex forward. Your neck is in line with your spine. I know you need to look at me to see what we're doing. I want your hand, the palm of your hands facing one another. I want you to pull the elbows back behind the body and squeeze those shoulder blades and bring them down. Squeeze and down. Nine, eight, seven, six, squeeze, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bring your hands out in front. Now you still have torso flexion. Bring your arms out and together, out and together. I'm feeling this in the latissimus dorsi. My belly is tight. Seven, look to the floor. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Arms down, slowly rise. How you feeling? Hope you're feeling okay. Good, take your right hand up here and your left hand here and march. Practice that, that's a good one. Okay, let's lift those knees, pump those arms. Five, four, three, two, and one, good. Sit up nice and tall, deep breath in, and exhale. Now we're gonna work the back of the arms, the tricep muscle, okay? And we could do that by doing both of them together or one at a time, let's do one at a time. We're gonna start with the left arm. So rest your right arm down onto your thigh, keep your neck in line with your spine. You're beginning, you're beginning right here at the hip. You're extending back behind you and flexing the elbow only to the hip and back. So we're not doing this. We're not getting the shoulder involved at all, just the back of the arm. So 10, nine, eight, isometrically contract that muscle Five, four, three, two, one. Now take your palm up to the ceiling and pump. Pump it, short pumps. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. Let's take that arm behind us. Never pull on your joint, pull on the muscle itself. Push it back, pat yourself on the back. You should feel that right through here. Good. Let's do the other side. So lean onto your thigh, take your right arm down by your side, extend and flex. Extend and flex. Make sure you're tightening up. That's how you're going to work the muscle isometrically. And seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two. Hold it up, palm faces up, and pump. Little pumps, 10, eight, six, four, two, hold it up and release. Bring that arm back and heads up. So do, we don't wanna stretch like this. We want to try to avoid doing that. So we're up nice and tall, pat yourself on the back. 
Good. Now I want you to pick up your left leg and circle your ankle, just your ankle, not your whole leg. You should just your ankle five times one way and five times the other way. Good, set it down. Take your right hand and give me a princess die wave. Yes, she went to college to learn how to do this. Very effective for the wrist. The wrist is your weakest link, especially if you go to fall. We want to strengthen the wrist. Good. Other leg, circle the ankle five times one direction and five times the other direction. And your left hand, and let's wave. So the palm comes towards the face and away from the face. Good. Now rest your hands onto, you could scoot back in the chair, rest your hands onto your thighs. We're going to roll up and roll down. So fingers curl, wrist curls, fingers open all the way down. Five, four, three, two, one. Turn them over. Same thing, except you're going to make a fist. Up, keep those elbows down, and lower. This is for your wrist. Flexion and extension. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Set your hands on your thighs. Come up to your toes. Apply some pressure with your hands. Let's work the soleus muscle in your calves. Up and lower. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Take your right hand onto the chair. Take your left hand and push. Nice straight body, ears, shoulders, hips and release. Other side, push across the body. Push. Good. Now I want you to reach on a diagonal and pretend like you're pulling a rope down. Pull, pull, nine, eight, Seven, six, working that bicep and that latissimus dorsi. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Let's go to the other side. Reach on a diagonal and pull. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Shake it out. Roll the shoulders back, up, back, and around. Okay, time to work the hands now and the fingers. So, you have goal posts. Thumb to palm, 
pointer to palm, middle to palm, ring finger, pinky. Now roll the pinky and the thumb goes on top. Squeeze real hard and open them real wide, as wide as you can. Again, we'll start with the pinky to the palm, the ring to the palm, middle, pointer, thumb. Now fold the thumb back in and fold it down. Squeeze real hard and open. Play the piano. Work those fingers. Good. Now up with the arms, palms facing down. All the way up, all the way back. Now I want your knees together and I want you to squeeze your inner thighs. Keep it contracted in the inner thighs. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and release, shake it out. Good, big breath in and exhale out. Big breath in and exhale out. Biceps up halfway, contract, lower down. Wrist stays rigid, contract. Ice, isometric contraction, lower, just halfway. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, are you feeling this? 2, Bring it back up and hold. Isometric contraction, hold, 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 hold. Very good, thumbs down and back to stretch those biceps out. Good, take your left arm across your shoulder, across the midline of your body, hold it up with your right hand and look over your shoulder. Big breath and release it. Take your right arm across the midline of your body, hold it up, turn and look over your shoulder. In and exhale, good. Now I want you to drop your right ear to your right shoulder. And then I want you to take your chin and look up. Look up with your eyes. Take your left hand away. Stretching into the trapezius, the upper trapezius and the levator scapula. Very slowly come forward. Take your left ear down to your left shoulder. Take your chin, look up. The arm goes away. Breathe very carefully to the center. Now drop your chin to your chest. Your arms come up in front and you're opening that scapula, your shoulder blades protraction. And shave that rib cage again, retract those shoulder blades together. And protract. and retract. Good, how are you feeling? You ready to get up? Let's get up without using our arms on the chair. Okay, so spread your feet apart and let's come up 
Let's march around to the back of the chair. I want you in a plie position, which would be 10 and 2 o'clock, okay? You could be back here holding on. I'm going to be here so you could see me. And you're just going to tuck the belly in, ears, shoulders, and hips. You're going to dip and then up on the toes. Dip and up on the toes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down and hold. Squeeze those glutes, hold, 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 and slowly come up, march it out. March, march, march. Now give me a fast march, 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 march. Fast, 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 fast. Good, slow it down. Very good. Okay, I'm going to turn my chair so you can see me. You're going to take your right leg forward, your left leg back. The move initiates from the back leg, just like a carousel horse. You're going to go straight down and up. A little dip, no further. Your weight is in your front heel. Down, up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Be sure that knee stays behind the toe. Two, and one. Very good. Let's do that on the other side. So now your left leg comes forward, your right leg goes back. Your weight is in your front heel. The knee stays behind the toe, the tummy's tucked, and dip. Push up, dip, push up. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. March it out. March fast, fast, fast. Good. I'm going to straighten my chair. And we're going to march around to the front. Take a seat, stand up, march around to the back. Come here, take a dip, march around to the front. Sit, give me a kick and a kick with a punch and a punch. Kick, kick, punch, punch. There you go. Now go as fast or as slow as you want. If you want to pick up the pace, you can raise the arms a little bit higher. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. March it out. Okay, so now we'll do another ab exercise. You could be, it's up to you. You could be in the middle of your chair, you could be further back, or you could be at the edge of your chair, one or the other. The arms can be here or they can be here. You're going to keep your feet flat on the ground and you're gonna go back, pulling that belly in until your shoulders touch and come up and lower back, 
keeping your neck in line with your spine. Eight, exhale. And seven. And six. And five. And four. Three. Two. And one. Very good. March it out. Inhale up. Let's get those ribs off the hips. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. So we want to say here at Piedmont Fayette that we are doing everything to keep you safe during our workouts. And we are helping by providing these um, online videos. I hope that they help. Uh, please feel free to give us any suggestions that you would like. I hope you're feeling good. Let's stand and take one more deep breath in and exhale. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend. Bye.